are the some steps i can show you for downloading the protease before that i want to show you like this is the snapshot that i've taken from the main site see this is the main site of the protease it is uh, labcenter.com this is the site that is having its own this is the company that builds this software so through this i want to say like uh, these are having pcb protease pcb design protease circuit simulation and protease iot builders this software is used uh, where you can uh, program with raspberry pi to build other devices you can connect from this protease iot builder and this is the software that we using now as i as i click on it it takes see two options are there try for free and buy now two two options are there whenever we are uh, if we have to buy you have to pay something and when we are doing it try for free it has some kind of disadvantage the disadvantage is that that are there like you cannot save your work whatever work you are doing you cannot save it so this is the biggest drawback you can say for uh using a uh, this protease software so like uh, everyone plays pubg you know pubg is still banned in india but still we are use, uh, we are able to play it. why because you are having some kind of apk a a kind of app or file is there where which can be run from a from a phones same way for everything in this uh, world there is a solution so for this uh, uh, i've shown you here in my ppt it is in this this is the link through this link you will be able to download the software but if you do not have a antivirus in your computer please do not install it because it is going to have a virus in it which can harm your computer so this is the warning first time saying because when i downloaded it this is the new latest version protease aid professional so if you are going to download it in your computer there will be some kind of worm or the virus that can affect so if you do not have a uh, antivirus please do not do it so once you are once you have done uh, downloaded this i have already downloaded this i'll show you i'll take you to the main site see like this you'll get and then you'll have a proteus 8 6.2s sp2 professional when you'll click on it you'll get a something like this when you'll click on it it will ask your permission to install when you'll install it you just have to open and run it so this is this is the basic of uh, proteus how you have to install it you just have to download it from that and then you'll when the zip folder comes you have to extract it then this 
Proteus 8.6 folder will come. And after that, as you click on it, there will be Proteus 8.6 SP2 Pro. You just have to click on it, install, and it will be able to run it on your computer. Still, if, the, if an error comes like library not found or something like that, you have to just make it, uh, you have to run, is, run it as an administrator. If you'll do it like this, uh, you'll be able to run it in your computer. Next, um, this is the installation uh, part of the computer. Now I'm going to tell you, like as I told, uh, we, we use Arduino and Raspberry Pi, see, for projects. So here I'm going to, this is an Arduino. Almost everyone know about it. So I'm going to tell you what are the basic things of this. See, in this, like these pins that you are seeing, seeing the, uh, the, first of all, this is in this part. This big IC. This is a microcontroller at Mega 328. Do you know the difference between a microprocessor and a microcontroller? Anyone knows? No, no. Okay. So microprocessor, what does a controller means? To control something? And a processor means to process something. So microprocessor consists of only CPU. Because the main work of a processor is to process. It will, con uh, it will have a CPU. In that CPU, everything will be there, a ALU, memory in it, anything that is there in the CPU, everything will be there. So its main work is for processing. Now, the another term is microcontroller. What does a control mean? Control means to control the motions, to control the movement, to control its function so basic microcontroller consists of cpu memory input output and everything in one chip that is a microcontroller so here in this arduino you have a, uh, a microcontroller that is known as atmega 20 you have different type of microcontrollers as you as you're going to go in your higher engineering like sixth semester or fifth semester you'll be learning about microcontrollers a big subject is there there you'll be knowing different type of microcontrollers are there and how they grew, how their generation changed from, but like you use phone now, different phones have been coming, like now Snapdragon 888, 850. As the processor is changing, same controller is changing. So in this, we have a Atmega 328 microcontroller. These, these you can see, these are the digital pins. Digital pin, uh, the, the main function of this, these pins are for connecting the output. Where whatever this processor, is, uh, the controller is doing, whatever input you are giving, through these pins you are able to get the output. You, are seeking, you can see the numbering 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, till 13. The, these are the output, output pins. Now here you can see these are the analog pins, A0 to A5. From analog pins means from these pins, we are able to give the input, like all the sensors. What does a sensor do? Se what is the main work of a sensor? Sensor work is to extract a value, like a, we have moisture sensor. So moisture sensor, what is the work of a moisture sensor is to calculate the moisture present in the soil and give its output to the microcontroller to do other functions or the other calculation that has to be performed. So in the, from these analog pins, you can uh, give all the sensors input. A0, A5, A2, A3, A4, A5. These all are the uh, input pins. Now this is the power, uh, the, this power supply. You can see five volt ground reset, everything you can do this. Uh, this is the USB port where you do the upload of the coding. And this is the power supply jack you can you where you put give the power supply to the Arduino board. And this is the reset button. This button is like whatever function or what, uh, not function, whatever the program that you have uploaded, you have to just remove it. You press this button, everything gets vanishes. So this is the Arduino board. And this is the software, Arduino IDE. So how you, to procure this, how to procure this Arduino IDE? You, uh, you just have to type on your just uh, Google Arduino IDE. 
first Th this is an open source software so as soon as you click uh this you'll get like free download for windows because uh, because i have already downloaded in my computer so i'm not doing it so this is free download you can do it for your computer now this is all the uh, basic i have told you what you have to do now i'll go show you the practical what what projects you can do this is the proteus 8 software see like here you have the options open project new project new flow chart open sample for opening project like you have already made some kind of project you can open through these for new projects you can do from these new projects and new flow chart if you want to make a new so first we'll do new project we are making a new project whatever like basics just do next do not create a pcb because we do not need a pc if you need a pcb layout click on this if you do not need a pcb layout click on do not create then do next and next finish this this is the interface of the proteus 8 now here you can see like some these uh, icons can you see everyone these icons are the you can say a like kind of library this p means pick up from library like what does a library means a library is having all the components all the sensors everything that you require for making a project are already there from pick up library and this library see you can from this you can see all the sensors everything like nand gate or gate anything that you want from this you can get from libraries and uh, this is like these are the components you will get different components and uh, now many of the proteus do not have arduino library in it so that also you can download you just have to write uh, arduino proteus library from in the google and then you can get a zip folder and then you can put it in the just paste it in the library in the uh, lab center electronics there you will get so first we will be making a kind first we'll be making normal uh, projects that we are liking i've already made i'll show you some one some like basic circuit is there see can you see everyone from see like when you have to adjust like this from this cursor you have to just place it which part you want you can zoom in you can zoom out from this cursor you just have to place it see this is the normal a uh, basic circuit that you do uh, you generally this is the that you study in 9th or 10th this is the battery this is the resistor this is the led and this is a switch so first like as i this is the play button and this is the pause and this is the stop button so as i do it on see now the switch is open it so the circuit is incomplete the led do not glow glow as i do it on the led glows so it is just a replication of the hardware that you generally do in the uh, in generally do it is just the replication so this is the software you can uh, like this you can do or this is this was the very basic one so i'll start your with your uh, arduino one see uh, i'll just uh, do it like you can click on this left click you can do it delete object see now what you have to do first you have to go to the pickup library and just write the words like rd you'll get everything like i've downloaded all the libraries so this is the arduino no just click on it and do it okay done so you it's your choice you have to first you create the library or you want to place the objects one by one it's your choice 
according to my preference i'll collect the objects and then i'll place in the library next i need a register so just write here register different types of register are there you just have to click here okay you'll get the okay button then led c here you can see like you have different colors blue green whichever color you want i uh, i've taken blue so here you can like led yellow active led red active whichever color you want you can take from here then click now click on the object place it here see wherever you want to place it you can place it i'll place it then register now you have to click on the object and do left click then here it is edit properties now see here the resistance is 10k 10 kilo ohm but i do not need it 10 kilo ohm i just need 220 so i'll do 220 see this is a grid so it is very easy for you to connect the objects next is you need a ground so as you click on it you will get a ground connect your ground to the led now you do not know which pin of this uh, digital pins is to be connected to resistor so what you will do first you will do you will open your arduino id this file uh, this arduino has many kinds of Uh, examples in it like uh, examples you can say like already the pre written code is there you just have to click on the code and you'll be running it like basic is blink you can see now here it is led like see this is the void setup this is the this is the code where you have to write initialize your digital pin initialize your digital pin pin means from which pin you want to connect your arduino to it the arduino id software is built for uh, you can say for learning for la for like who is new who is new to the uh, who is new to the uh, arduino you can do it from here so all the software are just a second huh? my computer got hanged okay see sorry sorry for the disturbance this see now here it is written led uh, built bulletin so here you have to write the pin number where you are giving the led supply it's like 13 in 13 digital pin i am giving the supply to it so the same way here wherever it is written led bulletin you just have to I thirteen. Done. See now the next thing is that like you are not having the uh, original hardware. I don't know you are doing it on the software. So for that, first you have to click on file, then preferences. 
mostly uh, like when you're doing it on the hardware in the real real time world this is unchecked so you have to first check it and then click okay and then you have to compile your sketch if any error comes it will show a red line otherwise it will compile the sketch now see as compiling is done now this you have to click this this is the hex file this is the hex file in which the code of the arduino is stored so you just have to copy it and this from 13th pin we connected so you have to just like from this grid you are easily able to connect to it now double click on it here it is written program file just paste your path done you just have to run it and see now it is glowing can you see everyone yes or no yes yes, yes ma'am so you yes. are you are able to see yes. this this was the basic one like now you have servo motor so if you want to work on servo motor what does a servo motor do what are the basic functions of a servo motor you can say servo motor is like you can uh, you have seen a garden pump which supplies water to the garden in a crop you have seen no it is a, it is rotating from uh, like from 180 to uh, 180 degree then again it is going from 180 to 180 or, or you can say 90 to 180 like this it moves so for this what i have used arduino this is the uh, servo motor and this is the potentiometer what is a potentiometer can anyone tell me what do you know about the term potentiometer uh, which is used for finding emf 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 is something different you are not to the point anybody else i just want the basic definition what is a potentiometer everyone has come from class 12 no this is the very basic thing what is a potentiometer anyone yes it is used to calculate the emf but what is the role of a potentiometer you for which purpose it is used electronic devices no not to control anyone else aap sab uses bata rahe ho main puch rahi hu potentiometer hota kya hai aap sab bata rahe ho ki wo potentiometer emf calculation ke liye use hota hai par potentiometer karta kya hai what are the use it is used to uh, control the electronic devices electronic devices um if like and again everyone just a second just a second hold on okay so i was saying a potential meter ek tarah ka variable resistance hota hai variable resistance means ki hum ek device se alag alag type ke hum resistance de sakte hain kyun ab servo meter ab servo meter servo motor hai to hum ek bar ab kya hota hai jo current hota hai current flow karta rehta hai par jo hamara jo wire hota hai That is having resistance. जो हमारे इलेक्ट्रिक वायर होते हैं वो तो रेजिस्टेंस होता है ना उसके अंदर तो वो रेजिस्टेंस चेंज करता रहता है तो उसके लिए हम यहाँ पे एक पोटेंशियल मीटर यूज करते हैं दैट इज वेरिएबल रेजिस्टेंस सी आई डोंट नो इफ यू एबल सी नाउ इट इज शोइंग फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट इफ आई डू इट क्लिक डाउन इट विल डिक्रीज इफ आई डू 47 40 40 50 this is the midpoint of the resistance ye hamara resistance ka midpoint ho gaya theek hai to ab hum isko banayenge kaise
सबसे पहले हम अपनी पिकअप लाइब्रेरी में जाएंगे यू जस्ट हेव टू टाइप आर डी नोट यहाँ पे आ गया आर डी नो ओनो क्लिक ओके सेलेक्ट क्लिक ओके इट विल कम हेयर इन द लाइब्रेरी नाउ दिस इज द मोटर सॉरी सर वो मोटर सो क्लिक है राइट सर वो now in this you having animated this is one servo motor and this is pwm servo so we have to select this uh, animated pwm servo motor click okay now this is the potentiometer right pot as you will write pot you just have to click okay and you will get a potential meter now this this you are seeing this is the dc supply this dc supply from the, this is the generator these are the generators from here you are getting dc generator sine generator pulse generator exponential generators what does a generator do it generates see dc supply mein kya hota hai hamare paas jo amplitude hota hai wo constant hota hai like this it is constant it does not vary where is sinusoidal it varies pulse pulse we have a square pulse wave it varies but dc supply is a constant supply so here you are going to give dc supply so just click here dc and then put it here now the ba the basic thing comes here the important thing click on it here it is voltage given now generally as you'll do like i'll show you this wait See this is just put it here. Connect to it. Sorry. Now here it is written zero, but you have to write here five because our servo motor, जो हमारा servo motor है उसका जो voltage है वो कहाँ से कहाँ vary करेगा zero से five. Understood? From zero to five it is going to vary, and this is the ground. next terminal we are connected to ground and this is what what i told about these uh, a0 to a5 what are these analog pins analog pin se hum input dete hain arduino ko so a potentiometer is also kind of sensor because it is sensing variable resistance ye variable resistance ko sense kar raha hai isliye potentiometer ko hum analog circuit analog part se connect karenge a0 se a0 is going to read the information or the variable resistance and then it is going to give the information to the arduino now here the microcontroller is going to sense it do the processing and from these i told you from 0 to 13 these are the digital pins which is going to give us the output so from the output you are going to get uh, give the output to the servo motor and the servo motor is going to give us the action कनेक्शन सबको समझ आ गया सब मोटर के बीच से हम इसको नाइन नाइन वाली पिन को कनेक्ट कर देंगे जो हमें आउटपुट देगा इसके अपर पॉइंट को हमने वीसीसी दे दिया वीसीसी सबको पता है क्या होता है वोल्टेज एंड दिस इज द ग्राउंड नाउ अगेन यू हैव टू पुट द कोड इन इट सो यू गो अगेन टू द आरडिनो नाउ हेयर यू डू file examples basics you'll go down here it is servo now servo there are two knob and sweep you have to click on knob open it now see here on see you uh, like i know the connection so i have shown you first the circuit part and then i'm showing you the coding part but here in the code itself you are able to getting all the information set so like the person who want to learn about the arduino can easily do it from the code only jo code seekhna chahta hai wo aaram se is arduino id ko dekh ke seekh sakta hai see now this is the create servo object to control a uh, servo coding mein hum ek object banate hain jo hamari information store karta hai aur wo ja ke hamare program ke andar jo woh cheeze hoti hai matlab jo hamara main run file hota hai usko deta hai jo bhi hum values dalte hain aur wo process kar deta hai yahi hota hai hamara kaam object ka 
अब हमारी इनिशियल जो हमारी पिन है वो जीरो पे रहेगी एनालॉग पिन इज यूज टू कनेक्ट दी पोटेंशियल मीटर एंड इंट वेल इंट वेल इज गोइंग टू स्टोर दी वेरिएबल द वैल्यू ऑफ द रेजिस्टेंस दैट वी गिविंग टू दी आर्डिनो वेरिएबल रेजिस्टेंस वैल्यू वेरिएबल टू रीड द वैल्यू फ्रॉम द एनोलॉग पिन एनोलॉग पिन पे हम क्या दे रहे हैं इनपुट दे रहे किसका इनपुट दे रहे हैं वेरिएबल रेजिस्टेंस का इनपुट दे रहे हैं तो जो वेरिएबल रेजिस्टेंस का जो रेजिस्टेंस है वो एक वैल्यू में स्टोर हो जाएगा और वो वैल्यू हॉकू का किसको देगा आर्डिनो को देगा जो उसको प्रोसेस कर देगा नाउ माय सर्वो डॉट अटैच नाइन दिस अटैचेज द सर्वो पिन ऑन नाइन टू टू द सर्वो ऑब्जेक्ट इट इज गोइंग टू यू टू इन द आर्डिनो यू टू कनेक्ट इट this is all everything you have to do uh, this is the code you don't have to do anything against it now again you have to do compile compiling the sketch <coughs> next part copy the hex file location control c go to the proteus double click on the arduino now see uh, what happens like i've already done so it is already already going to store the address but you do not have to see now paste the address click okay and one more thing uh, whenever uh, like you are going to have uh, sub jab hum naya servo lenge yahan se this i'll tell you i'll delete this object See, I'll put it. Now I'll connect this to the VCC. Nine to the middle one, and the last one is ground. Now, as I click on it, see there you can see ninety and plus ninety. So these are ये जो है ये इसकी extreme limit है या ये माइनस नाइनटी से प्लस नाइनटी तक जाएगा ये इसकी एक्सट्रीम लिमिट है बट आई वॉन्ट इट फ्रॉम वन एटी टू माइनस वन एटी सो आई चेंज इट देन आई क्लिक ओके द कोड इज स्टेयर इन द आर्डिनो सबो मोटर एवरी थिंग कनेक्शन इज देन आई जस्ट क्लिक रन नाउ सी कैन यू सी दिस इट इज रोटेटिंग नाउ एज आई चेंज द वैल्यू other resistance see it is changing and what is the maximum value i have put for it 180 so jab tak ye zero ho matlab iski maximum limit pe ye pahunch gaya see can you see 6% yes now i'll increase it it is changing the resistance value according to it my servo motor it is changing see maximum is minus 180 is it clear so this is uh, like uh, what does a sensor do a sensor ka kaam kya hota hai main aim of a sensor is to sense the variable resistance ki hamare environment mein jo resistance change ho raha hai ye us resistance ko sense karega aur wo variable resistance ye kisko dega arduino ko dega arduino ke andar jo microcontroller hai wo iska motion ko sense karega aur jo hamare digital pin se jo output device connect hai usko control karega This is the main function of the controller. As I told, controller का काम क्या होता है कंट्रोल करना जो उसको इंस्ट्रक्शन दिए जाएंगे वो वैसे ही अपने कनेक्टेड डिवाइस को कंट्रोल करेगा समझ आ रहा है कि मैंने यहाँ पे पोटेंशियल मीटर दिया इस पोटेंशियल मीटर का मैं पोटेंशियल रेजिस्टेंस चेंज करती रहूंगी तो जैसे ही मैं इसको चेंज करूंगी ये सेंस कर लेगा कि भाई मेरे रेजिस्टेंस में कुछ चेंज आ रहा है तो माइक्रो कंट्रोलर के पास कोडिंग जाएगी कि भाई ऐसे ऐसे चेंज हो रहा है इसने वैल्यू स्टोर की 
सब कुछ सेंस कर लिया अब जो इसके आउटपुट में डिवाइस कनेक्टेड होगा उसको ये अपना सेंस करके उस, उस हिसाब से इसमें ये अपना आउटपुट दिखाएगा समझ आ रहा है एनी डाउट इफ एनी डाउट यू कैन आस्क मी नॉट टू स्टॉप दिस सिमुलेशन जस्ट हैव टू क्लिक ऑन इट वी एस एम डी बगिंग सेशन इज एंडेड सो दिस इज द एंड ऑफ द सिमुलेशन दैट यू डूइंग another example i'm going to show you of about uh, how you can read the read the verb voltage voltage reader now see in this i am having arduino potentiometer re variable resistance this is the virtual terminal and this is the dc voltmeter is the connection visible to everyone yes yes ma'am yes ma'am see the variable what is the work of the uh, analog pins to get the input from where it is getting the input the potentiometer the potentiometer and the potentiometer is also connected to the voltage voltage reader dc voltage reader see where you can get all the components arduino i've told you potentiometer i've told you and this is the voltmeter dc voltmeter uh these you are going to get in this see all the objects are there oscilloscope logic analyzer counter timer virtual terminal this is the virtual terminal that you are going to use i'll tell you what the virtual terminal is going to do this is the virtual terminal and this is the dc voltmeter so the positive part is connected to the variable resistance it will it will also get the value of the resistance now the negative portion is connected to the ground and here in the arduino rxd and the txd this is tra tra transmission and this is the receiver receiving terminal now you have to put the code in it this is the uh, this is the virtual terminal now put the code in it for code again you have to open an Ar arduino examples basics read analog voltage now this is the code see this is the initializing of the serial communication 9600 bits per second this 9600 bits per second is for this virtual terminal click on it see baud rate in the higher classes you will be reading what is baud rate bit rate everything you will be learning so initializing the uh, baud rate of the virtual terminal is this so it will initialize it next is initialize sensor value analog read a0 the sensor value what is the sensor here potentiometer it will read the uh, variable resistance value now the calculation part this is the formula uh, whatever the calculation it has to be done it will do it so you just have to again compile it copy the file location double click on the arduino paste the file location and do it okay now the code is there connection is ready just run it now you can see this terminal can everybody see this terminal see what is this showing 00000 now as i'll increase the voltage can you see the change in the reading now it is reached 5 the highest value is 5 as i'll decrease the variable resistance the value is decreasing so virtual terminal is basically used for showing the output 
whatever output you are giving it is used to show like whenever a uh, terminal is there you just to show the a uh, result output on it you i do use a virtual terminal is everything clear to everyone yes ma'am okay yes. next a any other project i'll show you just wait can you see the number of sensors all the objects here this is the code first i'll explain you the project see uh, because of the lockdown we were not able to perform the uh, ha the hardware part so here we have used uh, so we used the opportunity of using the proteus and building it at our home see here is the arduino this is the water level sensor this is the uh, ultrasonic water level sensor this is a watering pump this is a tank pump uh, this is a soil moisture sensor and this is a resistor and everything connections that are to be done and this is the lcd display which is going to display as the value uh, not the value but the information about it see now what is does a water level sensor do water level sensor ka kaam kya hota hai ki ultrasonic kya hota hai एक दो दीवार होती है उन दीवारों पे इसके पास एक ऑब्जेक्ट तो एक सोर्स ऑब्जेक्ट होता है एक लास्ट का डेटा लास्ट ऑब्जेक्ट होता है तो ये अपनी रेस फेंकता है जो ये अपनी जो अल्ट्रासोनिक जो रेस ये फेंकता है उनसे ये मेजर करता है कि हमारे टैंक में कितना पानी है इज इट मैंने इसमें ऐसा कोडिंग डाला था कि अगर सिक्सटी से ऊपर हुआ सिक्सटी से कम हुआ तो टैंक मोटर ऑन हो जाना चाहिए वॉटरिंग पंप और अगर नहीं है तो पंप बंद रहना चाहिए दिस इज अल मॉइस्चर सेंसर बेसिकली सेंसर क्या होता है एक रेजिस्टेंस की वो वैल्यू चेंज करता रहता है सॉइल इन दिस दिस इज द रेजिस्टिव मॉइस्चर सेंसर इसमें जो टोंग्स हैं ये आपको टोंग्स दिख रही है दीज टोंग्स आर पुट इन साइड द सॉइल हम इसको सॉइल में डालते हैं और ये जब जैसे जैसे इसका जो वाटर uh, होता है सॉइल के अंदर वो यहाँ रेजिस्टेंस की तरह बिहेव करता है अगर इसके अंदर रेजिस्टेंस मतलब वाटर कम होगा तो रेजिस्टेंस कम होगा तो ये अपने आप स्विच ऑन कर देगा और अगर पानी फुल है रेजिस्टेंस फुल होगा तो ये ऑफ हो जाएगा और होते हैं कैपेसिटिव सेंसर दो तरह के सेंसर होते हैं जिस इज द रेजिस्टिव सेंसर और एक कैपेसिटिव सेंसर होता है कैपेसिटिव कैपेसिटेंस क्या होता है वॉट इज अपेसिटेंस कैपेसिटर क्या होता है एक कोई बताएगा कैपेसिटर क्या होता है एनर्जी स्टोरिंग एलिमेंट यस एनर्जी स्टोरिंग एलिमेंट तो उसके अंदर हम क्या जानते हैं कि दो पैरल प्लेट्स होती हैं उनके अंदर चार्ज स्टोर होता है एक डिस्चार्जिंग टाइम होता है एक चार्जिंग टाइम होता है जैसे ही हमारा चार्ज जैसे जैसे वैल्यू कम होता जाएगा वो चार्ज होता जाएगा पर जैसे ही वो फुल हो जाएगा तो वो क्या होगा डिस्चार्ज हो जाएगा तो चार्जिंग के टाइम कैपेसिटर ऑन रहता है डिस्चार्जिंग के टाइम कैपेसिटर ऑफ रहता है वैसे ही इसके अंदर एक होता है कैपेसिटिव सेंसर बेटा See, this is the capacitive moisture sensor. Can you see this? इसमें क्या होता है कि जैसे ही we put it inside the soil, it will measure the uh, it will measure the water. अब water क्या होता है यहाँ पे charge की तरह काम करता है. जैसे जैसे हमारा अगर पानी full है, तो ये discharge होगा. यानी लाभ क्या हमारा switch off रहेगा. और ये और अगर हमारा पानी कम है, तो ये charge करेगा. Charge मतलब on. तो जैसे ही हमारा पानी कम होगा तो वो अपने आप ऑटोमेटिकली ऑन हो जाएगा और जैसे ही हमारा चार्जर कम होगा चा, वाटर ज्यादा होगा फुल होगा तो हमारा ऑफ हो जाएगा 
ठीक है तो इसमें हमारे एक वाटर लेवल सेंसर हो गया दीज आर दू वॉटरिंग पम्प दिस इज द वर्चुअल टर्मिनल एंड दिस इज द मॉइस्चर सेंसर एंड हेयर वी हैविंग द कोड आई शो यू I'll compile it. See, when you are compiling, uh, like uh, whenever uh, you are not having, uh, like uh, now I am not having the Arduino, so I am just you uh, checking this one. If you are having the Arduino in live world, so just have to uncheck this check box. Now it is compiled. Copy this X file location. and always copy the hex file location do not copy any other file location only hex hex file location double click paste the file location and see like here you can see the see the errors are coming because what i told you earlier this proteus do not have all the sensors so we download the files from the uh, net and then we do it so what i'll do it here just wait library see this is the ultrasonic so click on ultrasonic hex file and open it okay this is the soil moisture sensor again you have to go to the path library proteus 8 professional then libraries soil moisture hex file open okay see are you able to see the screen here on this lcd see tank level is 43% so the water is working here the moisture content is zero so the motor is working from these potential potential meters you can change the value and the water sensor will work wait it is taking some time and this is the moisture sensor increase the moisture sensor content i have done here 85% if it is less than 85% the motor will stop start working and if it is less than 85% it it will on see here you can see the tank level is 86% so the water pump status is uh sorry the ta uh, tank pump is off see tank pump is off because it is 86% which is greater than 65% so the tank pump is off and this is 39% which is very less than 85% so the watering pump status is on so it is working the pump is working if i'll change it further like this you can change the sensors work a little late so that is why this is doing so like this you can make many projects and from these projects uh, like you do not have to go to the store or buy all the sensors waste money you just have to uh, download the file from the net and from the home only you can make and enhance your knowledge from by sitting at home
and make multiple projects whatever whatever you want to